Nolan King here for MMA Junkie, and uh, I got two special guests today. You probably recognize them both. One, UFC middleweight contender Kevin Holland. The other, former UFC welterweight champion and now coach Johnny Hendricks. Uh, guys, I appreciate you joining me. Uh, I just got out of a training session, Kevin, I can see, right? Johnny just, just hopped in the car. He helped you out a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> how, how, are you, how are you feeling after that one? Oh, man. Dead. It was a long weekend, you know, UFC Houston, and then coming home to this. I did rounds this weekend, just to come home to do more rounds. It was wonderful. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, is this the norm for Johnny Hendricks? He puts you through the ringer a little bit? Yeah, between Johnny, uh, Steven, and Shug, and then all the guys here at uh, the gym. Yeah, it's it's rough. Yeah. And I guess, I guess, how's it going? I mean, uh, on your end, uh, obviously, a lot's been made. The storyline of your wrestling and, and focusing. Uh, how do you feel like it's coming along uh, from your perspective? In my eyes, I still suck. You got to ask Johnny. <laughs> uh, Johnny, what do you think, man? Does Kevin suck, or what do you think? Uh, you know, I, I think that he's adapting to it really well. You know what I mean? Uh, we made some pretty crews today. Uh, and that's really all I can ask for. Definitely from, uh, definitely from Kevin is every day uh, get better, and that's what he's wanting to do. He's wanting to improve. He's wanting to work hard, and you know that that's that's what I that's what I want, and that's what it's going to show. You know what I mean? And the things that we're working on are going to be beneficial, not only for this fight, but just any fight in general. That he's he's a he's a, he's a He's a devastating striker. He's a guy who you don't want to stay on the feet with. So right now, people are like, man, let's get him to the cage or let's get him, get him into the wrestling arena. And what happens? You know, once we're done, you know, once we're done here, we continue to adapt and overcome. You know, and it's, you know my, my goal for Kevin is that people look at him and say, all right, we can't beat him on the feet. We can't beat him in wrestling. How do we beat him? You know what I mean? And that's my goal. Yeah. And I mean, have you seen how, how's Kevin as a student? Have you seen strides so far? I know you guys have only worked a, a few weeks together, but do you think it, do you feel like it's coming along? Yeah, I, like I said, you know, um, I'm different coach than most, you know, what I mean, uh, uh, you know, like I said, today, we, we got some feedback and, and, you know, that's why that's why I like it's like, uh, I like a two way street. Um, and I like to hear, you know, the good with the bad and, and you move forward and you know Kevin has picked up on a lot of good things and he's and he's the way that he's implementing them with his body is good uh we just got to keep keep the bottom wheel and keep throwing as much knowledge again towards him and let him absorb as much as he can I know it's not going to be 100 percent but that's what I that's what I want you know what I mean uh I'm going to teach him a hunt belt and let him let him mold it to his body. Yeah. And he's and a great I, job of that so far. Well, that's great to hear. And I, I guess for you, um, you know, how much have you dipped your toe into the coaching water? Like, obviously, you have great wrestling credentials. Everybody I've talked to says you're a very knowledgeable person. But is this something that you've done a lot of since you stopped fighting? Because I feel like, you know, we haven't really heard much from you from in the, in the past couple of years. Yeah, I... I what, what, what I tell everybody is, as soon as I retired, I was going to drop off the face of the earth. So I, 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 I got a couple guys I train, uh, Kevin now. Uh, I train him. And then for the most part, I just do the league wrestling. You know, I focus on more on the wrestling aspect. Uh, but, you know, <clears throat> with Warren, contact me about Kevin. And then, you know, the Texas boy, and, you know, He's, he's doing Texas proud just like me, and I want him to, you know, my goal is that he could win the belt here in Texas as well. You know what I'm saying? If nothing else, bring it back to Texas. And that's sort of my goal for, you know, a lot of these Texas fighters is to, to one day be the champion of the UFC and, and move. Uh, because there's such good athletes here, and, you know, Kevin's one of them where they push themselves so hard, there's just one little area that, that they struggle with, and that's where, you know, hopefully with us working together, he's going to go out there, he's going to show it this next fight, and 
when it comes back to the wrestling aspect, he he's going to dominate them, and then and that's where that's where Kevin's going to start being his best because <clears throat> what they know with training with him is that whenever he whenever he starts flowing and he starts feeling comfortable with stuff, he, he turns into a different fighter, a different movement. You know, me being what I what I did, I remember those days. And I remember, I'm like, oh, he's starting to feel it. Uh, that, okay, hey, that's great. Because now, look at him, he's starting to move here, he's starting to do this. So now he's starting to adapt it into his plan and his style. <clears throat> because, like, that's one thing I told Kevin, too. I was like, I don't want to change you. You're, you, got de- you got great strikes. You have all these things that are great. We just, let's make Phil even more comfortable in these areas. And now, now let everybody else figure out the puzzle that is, Super hard to Yeah, and for you, Kevin. I mean, uh, on the flip side, of, on the flip side of that, I mean, how's Johnny's coaching abilities so far? Obviously, you kind of you tested the waters in a few different gyms. You tried Daniel Cormier, and AKA. You gave some looks out there, but uh, you're sticking with your man Johnny here. What, what is it about him that makes him, uh, you know, kind of mesh with you well? Do you think? One thing and one thing only. Now I'm just playing some two different things, but it's Texas, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we keep it Texas. It's, it's uh, it works out. We're close. Uh, Johnny's Johnny's good at what the fuck Johnny does. You know what I mean? Johnny can knock people out, and he can take people down, and he can stop people from taking him down. I like knocking people out. I want to be able to stop people from taking me down, and I got 100% takedown on Derek Brunson, and he's never been taken down. So I think we got some things that can click and mix, and we'll, we'll be good. Plus, we're both KL gang, so, you know, keep it Texas, baby. Yeah, and I think it's funny to me, like, as an outsider, you know, I don't know either one of you that, you know, personally, but... Uh, you, you guys kind of seem like you're, to my, in my perspective, kind of opposite personalities, right? Like, I, Kevin, obviously, you have the, the nickname Big Mouth from Dana White. And, Johnny, you were kind of soft-spoken during your career. Did you feel like that it meshes well, that that, that kind of that combination is, is kind of what is helpful as well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Yeah. And, and Johnny, is, I mean, has Kevin been, uh, you know, an easy guy to coach, do you feel like? Is, is it, is it uh, has the big mouth come through to you at all? You know what? Hey, um, it doesn't, it, no, it doesn't bother me at all. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, like I told him, he, 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 always be him. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't change anything because, and that's, and that's really what it boils down to is that whenever you see Kevin out there and he's doing his thing and he's, and, he, and, and he's talking and he's doing what he wants to do, and that's when you see the best flowing out of him. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so, I don't, like, why would I, like, you know what I mean? I don't, it's like, <clears throat> if he, it, it is what it is. But, you know, I, I look at it this way, is that usually opposite attract to each other, right? You know what I mean? Like, he, he gets, a, he could say everything that I might be thinking, and uh, he'll do it, right? Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be more of the shelter style and but you know with him like i said it just all boils down to that's his personality that's his that's his flow when he's in the octagon and outside the octagon and if that's if that's what that's what he needs and that's what gets him where everything moving in a smooth but smooth oil machine then that's what we need to do and I, i'm all behind on that you know what i'm saying because that's really what it boils down to is him being 100% confident when he steps into that octagon. And that's, that, that, like, that's my main concern is that whenever he looks across the octagon, he sees that guy, he's like, I, I'm going to win every scenario. It doesn't matter what you do, how you throw it at me, I'm going to win it. Yeah. And, Kevin, uh, you know, it's funny. We, we, uh, you did some interviews this past weekend. I feel like nobody really talked about your fight, right? It was all about the wrestling and stuff like that. So, from what Johnny's saying, uh, you know, Kyle Dawkins, um, do you think he'll have, like, a target on your, your wrestling? Do you feel like you have, you know, a target on your Achilles heel, so to speak? Or do you feel like things will be up to par when you guys get in there? Uh, you know what? Only time will tell. I, I, I'm hoping it'll be up to par. I think it'll be up to par. I feel pretty, uh, I feel pretty good in my mind, but I always feel good. Um, Kyle Dawkins, I think Kyle Dawkins is a tough fighter. I don't think a lot of people realize how tough Kyle Dawkins is. Every fight that he's had in the UFC been against uh top tier guys or eventually one day have to be a champ or 
be right there in the top 10. And Kyle Dacus has uh, made it a good fight every single time. You can't pay attention to the scorecards. You have to just actually watch the fight. So, uh, yeah, I think Kyle Dacus would be a really, really good fight. I think they're ready to stay motivated, you know, and uh, somebody who wants the number that's next to my name. I want to keep the number next to my name, you know. Uh, I want to keep attacking people. So, it's not just the Kyle Dacus fight. It's every fight, you know, like Johnny was saying earlier. So, we're working on just being comfortable in every situation. So it could be 80-20, more like 90-10. Yeah, and I heard uh, from your manager, too, you signed a nice new contract despite coming off two losses, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I signed a Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, have you guys figured out, like, Johnny, will you be cornering Kevin? Do you know? Uh, we're talking about it. I, I'm looking at my work schedule. Um, <clears throat> whatever he wants, you know what I mean? I'm sort of going gonna, gonna, gonna to be there for him, whatever he needs. I have to warn about it too, um, and it's it's whatever Kevin wants. That's what I'm I'm gonna do for him. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's that's sort of my mindset. Like I said, it's really all about him. You know, if he, if he wants to be there, I'll be there. If he doesn't, if he doesn't want me there, guess what? It's not gonna. You know what I mean? Like it, it's whatever he he needs at that moment. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. And my goal is to take the gang that I've been working with uh, nonstop this camp. So uh, Steve, Johnny, and, and Suge is the goal for me. That's great, and Johnny. I know you said uh, you always talked about how when you, when you retired you were going to fall off the face of earth or whatever. You just said. Uh, do you think that this could be your entry back kind of into the sport a little bit? Should we see this more out of you going in the future? Something you enjoy, so to speak. Uh, you know, as a whole, besides Kevin. Uh, you know what? I never told Kevin. Like he's he's locked into place. Nobody else. I won't work. You know, what I mean, I'm not gonna work with anybody else that's in the 185 division. Um, I don't. I'm not that type of person. You know, I like. I'll be honest with you. I do. You know, I have to know Kevin, and it's actually been fun training and and teaching somebody who wants to learn. You know what I mean? And and not only that, but I'm trying to figure out every scenario. With him and with everything else that goes on, um, I've enjoyed it. So, <clears throat> as of right now, it's only Kevin, um, and my, that's my 100% main focus. And I'm not gonna—I don't know. I see too many people that they, they train one person, and then all of a sudden they get, you know, Kevin. Let's, let's, Kevin's gonna go out there. He's gonna smack the dude. He, he, his wrestling's gonna be where it's at, and then everybody's like, "Oh, we want him. We want him." And then they pull away from Kevin. Well, guess what? I I don't. It's not so much about the money for me. It's about the fact that I want to see this guy. I've got to know him. I've got to talk to him. I just want to see him get the belt and all that. I that's you know what I mean. That's my main focus. I'll be honest with you. Unless Orrin tells me, hey, uh, he might have somebody else, but I don't want to take time away from. It's not going to impede on Kevin. It's that makes sense. Yeah. And Kevin, for, is that a big part of it for you, too? Like, I know I heard you say recently, like, you know, kind of you didn't really like that Edmund Shabazian was at AKA and stuff like that kind of turned your way. So hearing something like that from Johnny, I mean, does, do you feel like that that's the type of coaching that you're looking for? Yeah, 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 definitely. It's definitely nice that, uh, to have that. But don't don't get the story misconstrued. I was never going to AKA. I went to yeah. Gilroy, Gilmore, however you say I went to Gilroy. I went yeah. with DC and I went with Deron Wynn to train with the kids at the school. The goal was always to come home and to get some work here. The goal was just to pick up some tricks and to come home. When Orrin hit me up and said that we can work with Johnny, it was an honor. You know what I mean? So yeah. the goal was always to stay home. So uh, the Shabazzian thing wasn't completely it, but best believe I ain't trying to work with nobody else in my division because they're all on the hit list. Yeah, that's certainly fair, man. Well, I guess last question for you, Kevin, uh, in terms of when you guys get in there, you and Kyle, I mean, what, what do you see going down when you play it on your head? I mean, I'm a sniper, bro, so at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what he's trying to do. If I create that range, I'm going to snipe him, collect my change, go home, collect the check, and then uh, somebody's going to pull out of one of these fights, and we'll be right back in there like swimwear. I love it. Johnny, what do you think? What do you think goes down? You feeling confident? Uh, same thing. Yeah, I'm so confident. I, I like, like I said, the way that we've trained in a short amount of time, and the way that he's picking up everything that I'm, you know what I mean, that I'm offering to him and everything that, you know, like I said, today we made big strides and, and I, I plan on continuing those big strides. And 
I'm, you know, my goal is that whenever Kevin goes out there, that everybody's like, well, damn, <laughs> now we can't deal with the wrestling. You know what I mean? Damn, we can't deal with the striking. So we're going to have to, you know what I mean, how, how do we make them a puzzle that they can't figure out? Again, that's really what it is. And it's a puzzle that Kevin gets to dictate. And that's what I want. I want Kevin to be able to dictate every scenario, every minute, every second of that fight. And it's going to go. That's that Texas signal. <laughs> well, I think we got we got like ninety nine point nine percent of the way. You know what? So. It, it, oh, you're back. Uh, yeah, the Texas sucks when it comes. To, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> he comes back on and goes, Texas sucks when it comes to the signal. <laughs> yeah, we get back signal, especially yeah. when you're driving to where he's driving to. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> see if he's gonna catch up. Well, I appreciate I appreciate both of you guys. I think we pretty much got the crux of it. I know you guys are on the fly and just got out of a training session. So always appreciate the time, Kevin, Johnny. Thank you, man. I hope we see more of you coming. Hopefully you don't fall off the, the face of the earth again because I do enjoy talking to you. And good luck in the fight, guys. Nah, Johnny's back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right, man. You guys have a good one. Thanks, guys. All right.